Hello peeps, I'm pretty excited to bring you this recipe. Let me just get everything together. It is a spicy honey garlic salmon and we're gonna roast this in the oven. Um, it's a couple hours before I wanna make it. Um, it's actually like five or six hours before I wanna make it, but what I'm going to do is I'm gonna show you how I season everything and I'm pretty excited. So we have some salmon here. This is about a pound of salmon, four fillets and um, got some roasted garlic here, roasted garlic olive oil, honey sriracha seasoning. I love this. I put this on cucumbers and tomatoes. Amazing. We're going to use a little, little bit of sea salt because that has salt. It's seafood. It's already has a lot of natural salt in it. We're going to have some minced garlic because I have a lot of fresh, but I do want to just use this too. Um, I'm going to use about half a cup of honey, which is like back there. And we're going to use about half a cup of honey Dijon mustard. Um, so we're really bringing in the honey flavors and we're going to use a ton of garlic. So first thing I'm going to do is actually season, um, the, uh, one second, I have to take my glove off. I should have, I don't know, should have thought this through better. I didn't, but I'm going to try and take my gloves off because we're going to season, uh, this, like I said, a little, little bit of salt and then, uh, sorry, we're going to put olive oil on first, rub that on, then a little bit of salt. And then uh, the honey sriracha seasoning. So I'm going to show you that when I get back. Here's the fish all seasoned up. Season both sides because you eat both sides. Ah. So yeah, so here's the fish. It's in the container. I layered it up. Go in the fridge for uh, a couple hours till you're ready to cook it. Um, and then we will commence with making the sauce. So over here, actually I should have opened this and this. So here's my Dijon, my honey Dijon mustard. Here's my minced garlic. Yeah, I really should open all these. I use minced garlic in water and not oil. Because oil, no, it tastes weird. And if the oil's bad, then the whole batch is bad. So, sorry. I should have had that prepped. <laughs> Ignore that, it's windy. Anyway, so I'm actually going to spray my measuring cup. This is hard to do one-handed. I keep forgetting to bring my tripod. It's a little messy, but I'll clean the counter. Shake. I use avocado spray because canola tastes funny to me. And then this is half a cup. So we're going to do half a cup of honey. This is from Aldi's. You'll get over it. They also have a wild honey, which I have. But I want to use this up first. I don't want to, like, waste the honey. Oh, my gosh. Did not know this would be this difficult to do one-handed. Oh, man. You need to use your tripod. <laughs> Anyway, and this kitchen, this kitchen counter space, I'll actually show you in a second once I'm done squeezing the life force out of this honey. I'll show you how small my kitchen counter space is and why I always have issues filming here. Okay, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let that go upside down so the rest can drip. This is the whole of my counter space because that's my stove. I have to put those groceries up, and then my microwave's over here. So, thankfully, my friend actually got me this over the sink. Uh, rack but anyway um, I'm gonna when this pools up I'm gonna pour the rest don't worry but anyway that's why you use oil spray uh, so that it can slip out easily because otherwise it won't there's only like a little bit there and that's okay what we're gonna do is um now add the Dijon honey Dijon which should be much easier oh come on Right? I love how I said it should be much easier and then all of a sudden it's like the hardest thing in the world. Alright. Really? Ugh. Alright. Alright. I'm just gonna shake this and then I'll get back to you guys. Don't worry. Okay. That took some doing. I feel like there was only half a cup left in each of those. Good thing I made this recipe and not a different one. Anyway, actually I got the wrong tool. I'm getting a fork out of my drawer. So I'm gonna get as much of the garlic out without water so we're gonna use because a lot of recipes don't call for a lot of garlic and I don't understand how that works um, we're gonna use about three tablespoons worth of garlic and like I said I use a fork one because it'll be easy to mix all of this but two because it'll drain some of the water the water won't come with it I don't want the water to come with it a little bit there we go. Now I'm just gonna start mixing this up. I'm just making the worst noise. So I'll mix it 
with two hands get the rest of that out of there and then I'll be right back okay finally got this all mixed up and the chunks you see are actually from the garlic I like that actually this is a lot this is a lot more than um I think I'm gonna need for the uh, fish so don't worry and this will go on the fridge with the uh, fish because there's the garlic in here yep they'll both go in the fridge and then when I'm getting ready to make everything then you'll see this and me and everything again so I'll see you in a few hours hey peeps so this has been marinating for whew, a few hours now like four or five hours now and here we go here's our shaman I'm gonna just put it on this uh, foil line tray which is gonna be good for a couple reasons it'll help us uh, like keep the sauce from like burning if it hits the bottom of the pan plus it's easier cleanup like I still like I don't know what other people do but I know I still wash my pans when um I have to clean when I use foil so anyway take this glove off I don't need it anymore then I'm gonna get out of oh drop that on the floor then I'm gonna get a spoon out should have taken the lid off this mixture one second I'm gonna put this in the sink I didn't wash dishes because that's who I am today gonna take the lid off of it so this is actually for the asparagus I'm actually gonna um, cook some asparagus too so here we go I'm gonna put a nice heaping tablespoon on each piece of salmon to start with One second, and then I'll be back all right not sure how well you see it but like I said those are all bits of garlic so we're gonna cook this in a 400 um, degree preheated oven for 20 minutes I'm gonna take it out after 10 minutes to baste it I have a silicone brush I'm gonna baste it with then put it in for 10 more minutes and I'm gonna show you what it looks like when it's all done in 20 minutes and in that time I'm also gonna cook some rice and I'm gonna cook the asparagus so we'll see you then bye okay it's been 20 minutes you know it's funny it actually kind of looks like the same as it would like the sauce got deeper and so the color got a little deeper I can't tilt it because I don't have my uh, glove on my hand it's over there there's the rice going the asparagus is done that looks great they don't look five minutes and so yeah so I'm gonna let this cool and I eat it and like I said if you don't if this wasn't good you wouldn't see a clip of it I'll see how in the next video bye